Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. On Twitter I found an announcement that the JMonkey Engine SDK team have put out a um, release candidate build on top of the NetBeans Platform 7.2 beta release. And in the announcement it says it would be cool if some Linux and Windows users could test these versions. So I have a Windows machine here. I downloaded the .exe file here which is an installer and then I ran it and I have this which is JMonkey Engine SDK on NetBeans Platform 7.2 Beta. So quickly to go through some of the new features it has simply for being on NetBeans Platform 7.2. One is that you can import projects from zip and export projects to zip and I'm guessing this would work automatically for JMonkey Engine 2 since the, um, this application uses the NetBeans project system and we can have a look at that. Um, what should also work is formatting across multiple projects should work and also the find bugs integration should work because this is a Java based um, development environment let's see what else there is here okay so there are some special features that come from JMonkey Engine in there looking in the options window okay so these are tabs that come from JMonkey Engine mobile asset packs and OpenGL what might be fun for JMonkey Engine users to know is that in the Windows tab you can change the placement um, of the tabs in the editor area to for example the bottom and you can show all the tabs um, via the multi row tabs um, option so you can see already that here the welcome screen tab is at the bottom um, so let's see what else there is just off the top of my head really uh, so there's a full screen mode that's been there for a couple of releases already what else? Well, I guess we'll find some other features as we go along. Well, Git is built into um, this application because it's not only on top of the NetBeans platform but also on top of NetBeans IDE where there's been Git support since NetBeans IDE 7.1 so also Mercurial and Subversion and you'll see local history per document window okay so let's now quickly work through the JMonkey Engine tutorial okay so there's a JMonkey Engine quick start that I'm going to use I have this on a separate system next to me so I'll start by creating a new project and in the new project wizard select the template JME3 basic game click next specify a project name such as hello world tutorial specify a path where it should be stored I already have that click finish and a new project is being created there are reference problems let's resolve these problems okay JUnit not needed for running this application so that's not really a problem we could try and install it via the plugin manager let's see if that will work let's see if we can look for JUnit, oh there it is, okay let's try and install JUnit next continue finish close okay so you can see that reference problem is now gone and we can continue we could have continued anyway without JUnit but now it doesn't look broken okay so we now right click on the source packages and we choose new Java class to create a new file and we will enter the name hello 
jme3 and enter a package name jme3 test dot hello world click finish okay so here we are and now there is some code to enter so I'm just going to type it and I'll type it according to the order in which the explanations are done in this quick start tutorial so the first part is to extend simple application get the import statement and implement all abstract methods so here we have simple init app you can see here the tabs are along the bottom kind of fun so we've got that and we also need a main method so psvm tab should do the job there it is and in the main method we're going to say hello jme3 app equals new control space hello jme3 code completion is really fast app dot start okay app start this instantiates the game and starts it and then for the rest we have some code to add inside this method so we'll start by typing new box vector uh, let's do control shift i for the import okay not we don't want vector we want vector 3f I'm guessing this is from jmonkey engine 0 .1, dot one dot one dot one so creating a box shape is what we're doing here control shift i get the import statements and we can immediately click on here and assign a return value so the left hand side of a statement in NetBeans IDE based applications you shouldn't need to type then we create a new geometry geom equals new geometry and give it a name and a mesh okay so the name is box and the mesh is what we just created the box we create a material material mat equals new material and we say asset manager I'm hoping that this refers to something that is built into J Monkey Engine and not something that I need to whoops ah this is a nice new feature in NetBeans IDE based applications that you can put any document into any place into any position and as you can see that's what happened here moved it around but I can't get it back so easily so let's say it is docked where should we move it float it it's floated and then if you say dock it's gonna go back there okay so if I say reset windows okay we save okay there we are again so this is going to be with a semicolon at the end common and then mat devs misc unshaded dot j3md so if I look in this asset manager it doesn't appear to be an asset yet so maybe I need to put something there I don't know yet next there is another statement 
mat set color set color to color and blue okay that's what it says in the tutorial as well geom set material to mat and root node where would that be okay it's there attach child geom so this will make the cube geometry appear in the scene so a typical JME3, so JMonkey Engine 3 game has the following initialization process. You initialize the game objects as we've done here. You initialize the variables, you initialize the key and the mouse actions. Well, anyway, let's run this application and see what happens. Huh. Okay. So this is it. Oh, here's my mouse somewhere. Hmm. How do I stop this? Escape. Run it again. Say okay. That's my mouse moving there. Okay, so this is the mouse movement. As I move the mouse, this block moves in different places on the screen. And the conclusion of this tutorial is you have learned that a simple application is a good starting point because it provides you with a simple init app method where you create objects, a root node where you attach objects to make them appear in the scene, useful default input settings that you can use for navigation in the scene. Okay, so that's it. Clearly this application is working. And escape closes it. And here is another button. Okay, so I can import models. There's various things that can be imported. So anyway, let's export this project to zip. Can we do that? Yes. Um, so you can see it's going to be exported to an external location and I'll also be able to import uh, zip files containing uh, uh, JMonkey Engine projects. That's it, my first exploration of JMonkey Engine Istige 3.0 RC1 on NetBeans Platform 7.2 Beta has been a complete success. Thanks and have fun with JMonkey Engine.